I'll never know the sickening sound a 15 pounder makes that blows your mate to pieces as the ground around you shakes or how the memories haunt you if you chance to make it back I'll never know the price they paid to walk a coda track I've slogged across its gruelling steep uncompromising grind it stretched the outer limits of my body and my mind but I wasn't being shot at in surprise attacks at night and my name's not on a headstone in Bamana's rose of white I felt firsthand the stifling heat and oozing rancid mud but not the putrid stench of death or rivers running blood I went to thank my granddad and the other diggers who withstood then beat the Japanese in 1942 my group was drawn from family my aunts and uncle came with cousins and my sister bearing hex mob as our name we walked in Hector's footsteps with humility and pride prepared to conquer challenges with history as our guide we spoke about the 39th and what they'd given here how they overcame their low morale malaria and fear when told to fight until the death until the job was done and fight they did against the odds outnumbered six to one I saw my cousin cramp then spew three hours along the track his pallid face and sunken eyes reflecting an attack of crippling dehydration and a lack of self-belief but he focused on the blokes who fought and therein found relief he rose above his doubts and pain to redefine his best the spirit of the 39th was beating in his chest their aura undeniable profoundly touched us all their stories lifted weary legs each time we hit the wall like Corporal Johnny Metzen on his bandaged hands and knees he scrambled on the jungle floor avoiding Japanese for weeks he was with 50 comrades they'd been forced off track to hide with his ankles shot to pieces he refused the stretcher ride and brave Lieutenant Bissett he was leading from the front in trench to Disarava when his stomach bore the brunt of enemy machine gun fire the morphine eased his pain but he died within his brother's arms in drenching Papuan rain when Kingsbury turned a rampant horde with Bren gun on his hip he lost his life but won the cross for selfless leadership the ripples of his actions had extended 60 years as my sister raised the flag past and present merged in tears she'd never travelled overseas she'd scrimped all year to come her struggle was the stigma of a teenage single mum in that moment she was everything she thought she couldn't be with Kingsbury spirit in her veins she cut her demons free my aunties what an inspiration they plotted down the back and sang to keep their spirits high they understood the track the rest were fighting stomach bugs collapsing knees and pain that say don't worry I'll be right and soldier on again at Brigade Hill we were silenced by a mist which rose and cast a melancholy shadow was it ghosts of diggers past the likes of fallen heroes Langridge Lambert Wilson Nye who went to help their stranded mates aware that they would die my stomach churned for what they gave upon that sacred hill I had not felt more Australian and I doubt I ever will those diggers are a reference point a temple in my head I don't complain when things get tough I think of them instead 
Our journey in their footsteps has instilled an attitude of daily viewing ups and downs through eyes of gratitude. It taught us much about ourselves, demanding that we pause and focus on our inner strengths, our core beliefs, our flaws. We felt a force along the track that drove us all beyond our limits and our breaking points to form a closer bond. We came back better people for a price those diggers paid. I never will forget them or the sacrifice they made.